Hey everybody, this is uh, Al um, from El Rey Collection. I uh, want to talk a little bit about some more epic cardboard here today. Thanks to all of you who uh, have commented on the previous videos and uh, thanks for the recommendations. I decided to choose one uh, player today that was requested by a couple different people. And it's specifically uh, the player is Stanley Matthews, as you can see here. The, uh, the British great who who had an extremely long career and uh, with soccer card collecting one of the uh, the the great beauties of uh, collecting Stanley Matthews is that he is he has many many cards so not only is he an all-time great but he has so many different cards stickers that you can collect um, that really span more than 30 years so that's the good news uh, the second part of the good news is his cards are amazingly affordable. I also have heard some uh, some comments from people asking for affordable options, and I think this is a fantastic option. I think IFFH uh, calls him the 11th best player uh, of the 20th century. So, I mean, he, you're talking a major, major star, and his cards are affordable. And let's get to it. Let's look at some some of these really kind of epic cards. And again, as I'll try to do, share some of my experience with collecting, and hopefully that'll help you along your way as you collect these greats. So, the first card that I wanted to to show here, and, and thanks again also for all the feedback on wanting to see the cards closer. I'll try to continually improve everything that I'm uh, doing here uh, on the on the constant, and maybe at the end we'll actually get some some really good videos. So. The very first card I wanted to talk about is the Ardeth Tobacco 1934 card. So many people are going to gravitate this as a reasonably priced, uh, very available rookie. I think on any given, at any given day, you can search eBay and you can find you know three or four of these, uh, mostly typically ungraded, but even graded copies. Um, so as of the making of this video, I would say those would typically be you know mid grade examples in the one to two hundred. Uh, dollar range, maybe slightly more in better condition, um, but as you can see, very reasonable for for an epic uh, all-time uh, player, and that's that's mostly driven by supply. Um, many of the British sets from the 1930s have a bunch of extra, you know, a bunch of copies that are available, and and some of them in actual quite good condition. Um, in the for the rookie collectors out there, so while I happen to to uh, categorize the art of tobacco as his rookie there is a, a stamp which i don't have actually uh, a tiny little transfer stamp that is oh i don't know like this big if you can see with my fingers and it's red and it has matthews written backwards because it's a transfer stamp um and that was issued i think in in 1932 so if you want if you're if you into transfer stamps you may consider that his rookie and that's okay Go out and get it. That's actually uh, pretty rare, and people are are asking, you know, high dollar values for those particular um, transfer stamps. That's not in my category of things that I like to collect. But if you do uh, collect them, and I think PSA now is even grading those, so go ahead, get go out and get that 1932 transfer stamp um, if you can find it. For me, this card is beautiful. So you know, this Ardath Tobacco card. I'll show you the back here. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to have, you won't see too much of my hand, but you're bound to see some of it. So there you go, the uh, Ardath, nice looking back. I love the fonts of, as I've told you before, I really enjoy enjoy the back. So this is, this is definitely a card that would be on my list if I was only gonna get one Stanley Matthews card. You know, that may be it. Um, another option from his rookie years, and you know, is this 19, 34 RNJ Hill. Now RNJ Hill made a bunch of different series, and this is just uh, you know another one in the series. Nice looking um, you know photo here. You can see as well the back. That's uh, monochrome. Uh, you know some people in my experience call this gold flake uh, and honey. Um, so anyway, that's another great option. You don't you don't see that one nearly as often. So if you're after it, you know, go get it. Um, another pretty easily found uh, card from his early 1930s um, 
is the uh, Carreras, and and those are it's another cigarette issue. Um, here you go on the back. I love the shield. They have a, a number of different issues at uh, at this time. So another, th you know, one one of the things you've got to do if you're interested in Stanley Matthews is you have to watch the Netflix doc documentary called um, called Matthews. I think it is. Is is it Netflix or Am Amazon Prime actually? So you know, watch that that documentary. It's just fantastic. It talks so much about you know his his career, some of his passions, the coaching that he did after after he was after he played. He was known as the wizard of the dribble or the magician. He um, you know, while he wasn't the most prolific goal scorer, he was a creator and he he really kind of revolutionized thoughts at the time on fitness. He played until he was fifty, I wanna say. You know, I think that um, that, you know, he was the oldest English uh, a, a player to ever play for England, and I think he was also the oldest uh, player to ever play in the first division. Um, so you know, I, he started off, you know, at, at uh, Stoke City, and then um, he he you know ultimately, and I think he was there. Oh gosh, I don't know how many years, but you know, fifteen years or something. And then he went to to Blackpool and played another number of years there and won the FA Cup. So, you know, I mean, you're just talking about an amazing superstar player cross, you know, generations. And, you know, he goes from the 30s all the way playing in, in, until the 60s. So, you know, this guy, he's got to be on your list, right? It, even if you're a short list, you know, again, like I said before, if, if you are going to collect players from a certain country, okay, then he doesn't need to be on your list. But if you're just going to go for all-time greats and you want to include some of the pre-war all-time greats, I mean, you got to include Stanley Matthews. So here's another card. Here's the Gold Flake uh, Honeydew. Again, just showing you that that, that this that these guys um, at, uh, at PSA and these guys at uh, SGC have different different uh, labels so it's the same you know card here I, I don't have it set up so you can see both but you can same card PSA calls that the 1934 RNJ Hill and and SGC calls it 1935 gold flake honeydew so and it is as I said earlier it's really you know the, the publisher is RNJ Hill so I think that PSA is getting this one more right than than SGC um, probably the rarest card outside of that transfer stamp um, that you can find of his, and this is always well before even the boom commanded really high prices, is the Searcy cigarettes. Um, and you know, you look at this and you're like, okay, well, well, you know, why is this one so rare? Well, it, it actually comes from a set. The back, first of all, super cool. Um, it comes from a set that's issued in Malta which is a very small island with very few people. So, um, you know, that's why they're hard to find. And, and there's very few of them, and this one's from 1935. So it's close enough to his rookie, incredibly rare for the completionists out there, and a lot of people in the UK really try to get his cards. Um, this is a really, really tough one to track down. Um, I can't fully remember, but I'd say that even before the booms, this was typically a, a thousand you know, dollar pound type uh, type card. So, you know, this one definitely, if you see this one, I would uh, highly recommend to get it if you like collecting, you know, rare cards. A cool, as I had mentioned earlier about the Carreras cards, um, a cool one is this. I mean, this is like oval. This is a multi, um, uh, a multi-sport issue from in 1935. But you know it's called pers uh, popular personalities, but they're oval and they're just they're just so cool and they look really cool in my opinion in the uh, custom SGC holder. Here you can see the back here, right? It's a uh, 72 different people, 72 different subjects in the in the um, in the set. Awesome, love it. And you can again you can pick these things up like most of it. You could go on eBay, and I think. As long as you're not looking for a rookie, if you have a budget of like, you know, less than $50, I bet you can pick up at least two, in some cases, five different cards from him, including shipping. So I would recommend you do it. 
one of my favorites, um, my favorite cards of his at all is this um, Val Gum. And I just find this card to be absolutely you know, beautiful. It's large, it's square, it's cardstock. It does have a blank back, which I don't love, but the front, the image is unique. Many of the early Matthews cards will use uh, the same image over and over. And in general, you know, not that I get tired of them, but you know, it's just not nearly as interesting as, as some of the other ones. So here is a 1935 Wills. And you know, this one in particular, sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here, is, um, is you know, just a really nice looking card, great colors, right? And here you can, you can see this, right? Right. So anyway, those are, you know, some of the, you know, early, the, 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 the first couple years, um, stuff that he's, oops, I hit my camera here that, that, that he's, um, you know, actually, you know, showing up in cards there. I have the next set, which is going to start from like 1936 and, and go on. Um, so here you go, here's United Services. And you're gonna just find so many of these British cards, just really, really gettable. Um, so then you go, again, I'd say most of the cards, the easy ones to get ironically are, you know, from the late 30s. So here, here's just another example. If you're interested in any one of these cards, just, you know, scan in on the title. I won't, I don't feel the need to go through every single one of them. But again, some really cool backs, some really cool sets from the 30s that you can get for amazingly uh, cheap. This is a uh, another nice RJ Hill. I like the colors on that one with the, with the blue background. This green background I found was really kind of cool on the 39 RJ Hill. So, um, now, you know, th those headshots, I really like, you know, them, but after a while, there's so many different ones to collect that, you know, some, some different types of cards like this one where he's dribbling is really cool. And it's, it's a Sunnyvale cigarettes. Let's see here. Sunnyvale cigarettes. So, um, again, I, I don't, I don't see that one that often, but then again, I'm not looking for these all the time. Kitty's favorites. This is like a nice little cartoon. I know there are some cartoon collectors out there. Really nice little set. Not sure why this gets a 1.5, but we just kind of roll with it as we're collectors here and just the eye appeal is really great on this one. This one's not as easy to find in my experience. Um, and this one as well. You can see this from time to time. The A&G Donaldson, A&J Donaldson card. So, there you go, sports favorites, spelled in the correct English way, as opposed to the American favorites. So, again, you can, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't have all of the Stanley Matthews cards, not, not by a long shot, so, um, you know, I think just pick some that you like and, and go for it. Build your collection. You know, there, there's some really, really great ones. Um, you unfortunately, you know, with the war, you know, um, many casualties of the war, there's not a lot, whole lot of issues. You notice that we jump from the late thirties into, you know, um, the, the, the fifties pretty quickly here. So, and then you get a lot of food cards. Here's a Mitchum food, you get a lot of food cards as you get into the fifties, um, There'll be a lot of talk in some some other cases, um, it, some other players about the Cadet Suites in particular. This you're gonna notice this is at 57. So, um, but you know, there's the, the the first ones are the ones with the uh, inverted backs. So, which are actually 1958s and then 1959 has the uh, the small. Um, back 
and then the 1960s has the uh, the full size one. I think SGC got a couple of these wrongs as PSA typically does. So again, doesn't matter that much with uh, with Matthews cards because you know they're 18 year or no, let's see. I guess depending on on, on where you go, it's 15 years um, after he no. 25 years after he started so you're not really concerned about if it's a rookie or not as you as you are with with some of the other players but again just, here's a flavor cane products super super reasonable you know issue that you can get really nice star studded set and the set set is very inexpensive so you can basically get the whole set if you if you want and then, uh, you know, here's, I don't even remember this one. It's called the National Spastic Society, which is an interesting name. Um, and another just British issue that I totally forgot that I had, which is always fun. This one's very unique. This is the uh, Star Footballers of 1963. So here we are 30 years after his you know, first cards are issues, we're still getting cards. So, you know, I could probably, you know, double or triple the amount of Stanley Matthews cards that I have uh, and still not even have the complete run. So, you know, keep that in mind. If, nice back on this, right? With the uh, with the blue 50 star footballers of 1963 presented with Tiger. Reminds me of Tiger beer. Um, and then here's, this is, these are some of the more off the beating paths ones. And so this is 1950s or 60s. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, and I love just how they spell. I don't know if you can see that well. Stanley Metust, right? And that this is from the former um, Yugoslavia, I believe. So you know those those are really kind of fun. And, you know, sometimes you just go for cards that you just like the look of. This one's maybe going to be a little harder. You know? And just look at that. I mean, he's an older guy here in this one. It's uh, issued in 1966. But, you know, here's just a really nice card. Lions made. So, you know, you know, back to kind of, um, you know, talking about Stanley Matthews. So, I would say that that he is one of the most affordable greats that you can get. Here, I'll just throw up this card because I can't find the other ones um, So while I'm talking. So he's one of the um, you know most affordable great legends. You know, again, ranked at the top of everything. I think he's in the, you know, all of the Hall of Fames that you could potentially be in. If you haven't, if you don't know about him, it's worth two hours of your time. It'll make your, your, your heart smile. Uh, to watch Matthews on Amazon Prime, pick up some of his cards. Um, I think that as as you know, soccer football becomes more and more popular, and and these types of um, of movies and documentaries get get filmed and, and kind of get the word out about the history of the game. I think we'll see continued interest in in these players, and not only from a great collecting point of view, but also from an investment point of view. I think you'll be you'll be happy that you have picked up these cards because they are special. They are you know going pushing, in many cases a hundred years old, at, at very reasonable price points. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit about uh, you know Stanley Matthews. His um, you know do your own research, decide which cards um, are your favorites. I would always typically start off with with the Ardath. I think it's just incredibly good value. It's an attractive card. Um, but you know, you decide which ones you like and do your own research. There's plenty more out there. This was not a complete uh, run of any of his stuff. But you know, if if you find one out there, I'd love to hear hear about it because you know I'm always looking for fun and exciting things as a collector. Again, hope you enjoyed the epic cardboard of Stanley Matthews. And if you haven't, please um, like the video, subscribe so you know when I upload something else. And also check out my Instagram, please, on El Rey Collection. Thanks so much. Take care, everybody.